Hello students, today we are going to start a new chapter, System of Particles and Rotational Motion. First, let me introduce what is a particle. A particle is a point object having negligible mass. So, we can define it in this proper manner that it is a point mass. has no sign practically. In our daily life, we have seen that there are too many types of objects which we are coming uh, contact or watch in our everyday life. The object may be rigid or flexible type of objects and they are bodies which are constituted from different types of materials and materials are formed by atoms in that case how the rigid body can be defined ideally a rigid body is one which has a perfect definite shape and its shape cannot be deformed So practically it is not possible that a shape of a body cannot be deformed at least a little. So at the 100% or you can say ideally it is not possible that any of the body can behave as a perfectly rigid body. Because for that the condition is its shape cannot be deformed. But in our uh, daily practice we can see the either of the rigid body shape can be deformed just a little only by applying an external force. So, in our complete discussion regarding this chapter, system of particle and rotational motion, we will consider an ideal rigid body. Means, a rigid body, the shape of which cannot be deformed. Now, here is another term. What kind of motion a rigid body can execute? We will discuss this question now, that what kind of motion a rigid body can execute. See, consider an inclined plane ABC here and uh, an object of mass M is sliding on the surface CB. In that case, its all constituent particles will be in motion in the direction from C to B. Now see here the particle number 1 and particle number 2. Both have their motion along a straight line because we are considering that this object is in motion with sliding over the surface BC. It is not rolling on that surface. In that case, the particle number 1 and 2 will execute a straight forward motion. And this body we are considering a rigid body. So all the particles of that body will move in a straight line. So this type of motion for that rigid body and for the constituents of that rigid body will be a translatory motion. Now it also may be possible that an object is sliding on the surface BC on that inclined band and it will be executing simple harm uh, it will be executing the linear motion as well as the rotational motion. How it will be possible? Take another example. Now consider another situation where a cylinder is rolling on the inclined surface of that inclined plane and in these conditions all the constituent particles of their cylinder will be at different velocity and will be directed their motion at the particular time instant in different directions. So here some particles are such that 
दे आर रोलिंग विद द रोटेशनल मोशन ऑफ द सिलेंडर एज इट स्लाइड ओवर द सर्फेस सी बी सिमिलरली द पार्टिकल एट द सेंटर ऑफ दैट सिलेंडर विल बी इन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन मोशन एंड द पार्टिकल टेंजेंशियली ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ द सिलेंडर विल हैव अटेंजेंशियल वेलोसिटी एट इट्स पोजिशन इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन एट डिफरेंट इंस्टेंट ऑफ टाइप इट मीन्स दिस सिलेंडर इज इन मोशन सच दैट इट्स पार्टिकल्स are at different velocities and there is another type of motion which is different from the translatory or the linear motion that another type of motion is the rotational motion here the particles 2 3 and 4 are at different velocities and are executing their rotational motion along uh, in the journey of the cylinder with respect to that axis passing through the position of particle number 1 that will be called the axis of rotation so we can conclude that in rotation of a rigid body about a fixed axis each particle of the body moves in a circle that fixed axis that fixed axis pass through the center of rigid body and the plane of circular motion of particle is perpendicular to the fixed axis we can take some example of the rigid body in the respect to case a ceiling fan a potter ceiling so that's all for today we will continue this part of our topic with some other examples of rigid bodies where the axis of rotation of the constituent particle differs at every instant of time of its motion till then good day